Okay, now first is the four bolts for the cover. You need to remove it. And once you remove, remove these rubber sheets for thinning. Now these two air nozzle, you remove the bolts and they are disconnect the air. Then you're able to take it out. There's two O-ring underneath. Very important, don't lost it. If you lost it, it will starting to leak. And then remove the other bolts, which connect to the fan. And then you can remove this whole cover. Careful, there is a cable for the fan. Do not break it. Also, do not need to detach it. Just leave it hung there. Now. You need to make a mark on the two sensors, which is on your left, which is on your right. There are two is for the clamping and the disclamped signal. You cannot mix that. If you mix that, the spindle will stop working. So you remove the bolt. It's a little push down plate to hold the sensor in its position. Uh, the both are read type of sensor. You take it out, careful to not damage any cables. And uh, actually one, if, if you stand like this position, right side is the long one. They are two different, that's what, but you still need to mark. Then you need to remove these long bolts. There are 12 of, them, 12 of them, but you only need to move six. The one on top, one on bottom, you remove them. It's a super long. And the short one, don't touch. The second one is the long bolt again. Then another second one is also a long bolt again. And uh, if you remove the short one, the inside of falling apart, it's very bad, don't do that. So six long bolts, you need to remove them. After remove them, you can try blow some air into the hole. See if it's falling off. Uh, sometimes it's falling off. If not, get a rubber helmet gently, very gently. Tap on it. Tap, tap, tap. And then you can see it's falling off. Now you can see the spindle starting to turn. The, but the tip here of the spindle is actually against a break device inside here. So that's why I cause it uh, the spindle lock. The spindle will lock itself to make sure it's able to change the two holder. But anyway, if you lock it and are trying to turn, then you will see that place turning black. You can just wipe it. And then before you put it back, you also check the sensor, make sure it's clean. And the tip is still blue. If not, if bird, we also need to change that. It's maybe it won't function no, when you put it back. Now, since it's still turning, we put everything back as the order we took them off. First is the long bolts. You position it right, my find the hole, put all of them back, all of them back. I will just show one, but all of them back. Then you put the sensor back, make sure left on the left, right on the right, very important. You put the clip back and fasten it. And then for the cover, make sure it do not jam any cable, otherwise the cable will break during operation. Put the cover back and you put the screw back first, of course. And then make sure the O-ring is still there. If the O-ring is gone, you're gonna have a leak badly. So O-ring must be be there, put back, and fasten the bolts back, and put the air hose back and when you install, of course. Then the rubber sealing, and then the other covers, and every covers, and bolts, 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 bolts. then just like that.